Today, I'm going to show you how to take a crappy guitar and make it into a less crappy guitar. It's worth it, I mean it. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode. Today, uh, was, well, actually the last episode, I showed you this. This is what I call the Ricky Bucker. Uh, if you haven't seen that, just check out the last episode. Link somewhere down below. This is a cheap guitar fetish website factory buyout deal. This thing cost $159. They actually have them cheaper now, which kind of irritates me. They have B stock. They are like $129. So I got this and a hard shell case that looks freaking insane for less than $250. Is it a Gibson 335? Hell no. Is it an Epiphone Dot or 335? Also hell no. But it is a great little guitar. It's like, I like it. So I showed you some sound samples on it. It does have some issues, like stuff I'm not really worried about. Like there's spots in the, in the finish that are swirled a little. There's like too much, uh, lacquer at the bottom of the neck here so it's like puddled up it looks like little stalactites of lacquer which that sounds really gross now that i think about it there's stuff like i'm not worried about it's a cheap guitar that i mean 150 bucks for it doesn't hold tune very well so a couple of real small things i want to do to this thing to just make it a a player make it mean make it you know i mean it's already a player i want to one i want to make this look like eric clapton's guitar all i have to do to change that is swap out this little button here and make it cream because eric clapton's 335 had a cream switch right there instead of the black one also i got new tuners for it they're the uh tulip style because i just think that looks better and then uh um what else did i do got something else. oh i got stuff to condition the fretboard uh, file down the frets, make them all level. I may have to do a little bit of trust rod work, but I'm gonna show you all that. All right, let's take this over to the shop and get started. picked up they were uh, I think they're less than 30 bucks on Amazon I'll put a link down below if you would like to get a set for yourself they're just standard there's still no no branding or anything they're not like Grovers or anything uh, but they should work pretty good they look good they're tulip style I'm I'm, I'm debating if I'm gonna leave the tulip metal tulips or if I want to get a set of uh, cream colored tulips. I think the creams might work better on this. Look better on this guitar. So basically all I gotta do, take the tuners out and then slide the new ones in using the existing holes. I made sure I got some that would fit the same holes. Turn music on. <laughs> Okay, so tuner's on. That did not take very long. My shoe's untied. Now we're going to condition the board. So what I'm using for conditioning is this, you can't see it on that side, is this uh, one F1 oil fretboard oil. Cleans, condition, and protects. You can buy this on Amazon. Link down below. I'm pretty sure this board has never been conditioned. It's terrible. Like You can fill every groove in that wood. So what we'll do is put a little bit of oil on this rag and then just rub it in to each 
fret, conditioning each one individually, let that dry, and then we'll wipe off the excess. And depending on how dry the board is, we may have to do it again. I can't believe the difference that made. I mean, this fretboard was almost gray, and now it's a nice, it almost looks rosewood. I know it's not, but it might be. It's really still looking dry here, but I mean, that made a huge difference in that wood. So I think I'll leave it one coat of oil for now, and then um, do it again, probably about maybe a month from now, especially since these are kept in a dehumidified room. So I'll probably do it again in a month. Okay, now we're gonna level the frets. I'm kind of nervous on that. <sighs> okay, fret job done, and it turned out pretty good there's a couple spots that it's not perfect but i mean it's my actually i'm gonna be honest it's my first time doing a fret job but it turned out pretty dang good so i'm going to condition the frets or polish the frets next i picked up this um music nomad ultimate i just realized my mat is from them too um music nomad ultimate uh care equipment care friend fret polishing kit comes with a rag everything you need to where you can mark off your fret Put some polish on it and polish them up. So do a quick polish job. You know, all this stuff, like my mat, uh, my tools, everything I got, there are links down below where you can get them too. And they are affiliate links, so they help out the channel if you want to get some. I appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, here it is. It cleaned up amazingly. So everything I did, new uh, new tuners, as you can see here, it now has the uh, tulip style tuners. I did a complete fret job. I polished every single fret, or sorry, I started by leveling every single fret to where there shouldn't be any, we're getting buzzing up in the, around the 12 area. There's, it's all, good now I hope it's my first time ever doing a fret job honestly it's not that hard you just gotta have a ton of patience and just be ready to you know <laughs> tons of that level all the frets polished all the frets conditioned the fret board and then I had to bring I put a different I put a higher gauge string on so I don't know what they had on it before they were like super lights now it's got a set of the Diodario jazzes on it I believe they're nickel jazz Bottom strings a 10, uppers like a 42 or something like that. Um, it's just a heavier gauge string. I like heavier gauges. I'm not, I don't like like metal strings, you know, but you know, like, not like, I mean, all strings are made of metal. I mean like, you know, you know that kind of metal. I don't play metal. I play, I don't know, I play blues, blues rock. I'm, I'm a blues rock guy. So putting a heavier gauge strings on, of course it pulled the neck forward just a tiny bit, but I was able to get that sucker can you even tell? You probably can't even see. It, it's it's straight. It's it's straighter than than me. It I mean it sounds really good.
So, $159 guitar. You don't have to buy the case. I bought a case with it. So, you figure $159 guitar plus, I think I got the strings three sets for $12. I've got less than $200 in this guitar and it's a great player guitar. Like, I may use this in my band. That being said, next week we'll compare this one to a new guitar that I, that just, I'm going to be honest, buying this guitar just reignited the desire to have a, th a real 335 in my life. So I bought a 335. Not a Gibson, I can't afford a Gibson. I bought a Epiphone Sheraton 335. So we'll compare the two next week. And also, I reached out to my good friends at Guitar Fetish, who I bought this guitar from, and they sent me, once I purchased and paid for, this. I got, there's two. I, I'm putting P90s in this thing. We're gonna complete, I was gonna put humbuckers in it, but I'm like, I got a humbucker guitar coming. We're gonna put different pickups in this next week. First, we'll compare it to how it sounds with the 335 Sheraton, and then compare it against this. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, uh, hit the like button. If you're interested in this guitar, there is a link down below that you can get one just like it. I mean, it won't be exactly the same. If you want to send it to me, I'll set it up and have it ready for you. $159. They have some for $129 now. I can't complain on this guitar. And if you got an idea for a video that you would like to see done, comment down below. What do you think of the red? Is it is it beauty? Am I wrong? Is it a great guitar or is it a crappy guitar? I love it. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you. <coughs> God, I hope I don't have COVID again.